what's going on guys it's Alexa back with another video and today before we get into this video I want to show you guys the video that I thought I was gonna film right before I started this whole journey um, this video is gonna come encompass about I don't know maybe the last uh, three days or so uh, trying to figure everything out so anyways I'll explain in just a second Today, I wanted to give you guys my reaction of my tuned 2010 Camaro SS um, after I've added all of the aftermarket parts, including the high flow cats, the boiler attack axle back exhaust, the uh, cold air intake by KN and an X pipe in place of my mid muffler or my resonator. So, um, last weekend, I got the car dyno tuned at national speed off of Glenside Drive in Richmond, Virginia. And um, I kind of wanted to give you guys my reaction of how it performed and everything. I haven't really hit it too hard, mainly because the weather's been pretty cold and I've been trying to fix a few things on the Jeep as well. So, you know, I've been here and there, but hopefully today I can get maybe a couple pulls in and kind of get my reaction of it. So after the tune, I already noticed that it was a little more peppy, especially in the torque area at the low end. And the only concerning thing that I noticed was that on Thursday, for some reason, the car would not start when I was leaving work. And then after it did start later on, the check engine light was on. So I was like, that's kind of weird. Not sure if it's related to the dyno tune or anything, but of course it's odd because it never did that before. So um, we'll talk about it more in the car. I'm not gonna stand out here too long because it's pretty cold, but let me give you guys a cold start. Oh look, it's doing exactly what I said. Hmm. Let's try from the inside. So, that is the current temperature. But it also did this on Thursday when it was in the 50s. So let's try again. Nope. Engine light is on. So the codes that came up when this first happened were uh, fuel pump related. So I'm gonna try again in a few hours and see what happens. But I didn't expect this today. I had drove it recently Friday and it worked fine. It started up fine. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure this out. So guess I'll see you guys in a second. So uh, it's the next day and um, yesterday when you guys saw me videotaping, I definitely did not expect my car to not start. Uh, this has been a problem going forward and let me let me give it a shot and see what happens please oh my god really I swear to god I started this thing two hours ago I literally started this two hours ago with no issues. Bruh. Try one more time. God. Um, so as you guys can see, uh, this isn't good. Um, I've been debating whether this is something that is tune related. Um, I called National Speed. I've been in touch with them about two or three times. I've been telling them what's going on and I told them the code that it's reading. 
uh, the code that it's reading. Where's my phone? Whew. I tell you, I tell you. Um, this is a very sometimey issue, and that's like the worst type of issue when it comes to car problems. The code that uh, came up when I got it read the first time it did this crap. Um, P023F, which is the uh, OBD2 fuel pump secondary circuit open. And the other code that I got was P069E. Um, basically, that's the fuel pump control module. Um, so yeah, the fuel pump control module has detected a problem with the fuel system and it has sent a request for the check engine light to come on. So, um, I literally drove it this morning. I started it two hours ago. It was fine. And I'm pissed that right now... It's been cold all day, so I really, this isn't a temperature issue. This happened Thursday when it was 50 something degrees. Today it's like 35, it's still the same thing. Um, this has to be an electrical thing. I really don't think my fuel pump is bad. This car, look, look at the miles. It's only 50,000 triple four. Like, it, how can, a fuel pump cannot be an issue already. I don't understand. And. It's just frustrating to me because I literally started this two hours ago. It started up fine. I even, I came out, I brought my friend, showed him the, you know, what I was dealing with. I told him everything that me and my other friend worked on yesterday. All we did was unplug some fuses, check that they were good and plug the fuses back in. Any fuse that was related to the damn car starting or whatever, we unplugged it, checked it, plugged it back in. And then it started up later that day. The check engine light was on for a little bit and then later it went out. I don't know what else to do different. So this keeps talking about the fuel system relay. Apparently that's what I'm going to have to fix. Because this is like, a, it's a sometimey issue. This is the third time in the last... If today's Tuesday, and it's, so like in the last four or five days, this is the third time that it has not started. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated as I go along once I figure out what the problem is. But of course, if you guys have a suggestion, let me know. But my next step is going to be to check the fuel system relay to see if that fuse, if there's something wrong with it. I, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just irritated. I really don't want to say it's the tune, but something is off. Because of course it's never done this before I got the tune, but give you an update in a second. Well, it had to be done, you guys. It had to be done. My poor baby. Sorry, Bruce. Next morning, um, as you guys can see, I had to drop off Bruce at my friend's house, and um, we're gonna get back to it on Friday, so that's about two days from now, and that way I'll have time after work to get to it, try to diagnose it, and you know, I'll have some assistance, I'll have a little more tools, and thankfully, I won't be out in the freezing cold because it's it's been really cold this last week, and I think that's what's made this one of the more challenging aspects is that it's just been cold as I don't know what um been in the 30s during the day but I mean it's winter so you know I can't be surprised so that's what I'm going to try to do try to figure out what's the issue and I just feel like it's it's a relay that's not getting power 
somewhere. We're not getting power to uh, the fuse box in the back or at least to that specific fuel control module fuse. We're not getting um, any voltage to, to the back of that. The battery works. Uh, we checked the voltage on the battery. That's fine. Um, I just feel like it's a short. I really don't think it's the fuel pump. If it is, then I mean, we'll figure it out eventually, but we're going to try to diagnose every inexpensive option first before we just amount it to, oh, it's a faulty fuel pump. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. I'm just really grateful that once again, I have amazing friends. Um, that's kind of what, that's, that's definitely one of the many positives that this car club has brought to me is great friendship. I have people that are willing to help me and try to figure out the problem right alongside me. So I'm really grateful for them. So thank you. I appreciate you. And I'm just really grateful to have a backup vehicle. I'm, of course, I'm going to be in the Jeep for the next couple of days. Thankfully, uh, the Jeep is holding up, knock on wood. And um, I'm going to have to buy some, probably have to buy some new headlights for it. Unfortunately, I went through a car wash the other day and somehow uh, wash fluid got in the lens of the right headlight. Um, I guess the seal around it is no longer good. So I'm going to have to buy some actual headlights and I'll probably buy some nice aftermarket LED ones or something like that. So that's coming to, um, so yeah, the situation is pretty annoying, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. And um, like I said, I'm just grateful for my friends and uh, this backup vehicle. I love this Jeep and I'm just going to take it in stride. So of course, if you guys have any suggestions as to what you think the problem might be, please let me know in the comment section. Um, we're really going to try to figure this out, but I'll have to give you guys an official update video um, probably next week. And maybe once we figure out the actual issue, I'll really be able to do some pulls for you guys. So of course, that's what I really want to do after the dyno tune because I want to see I want to see how everything's working with Bruce. So um, hopefully some pulls will be in the near future so I can test this car's power. But as always, this isn't the best video. This wasn't the video I was planning on making, as you guys know, but um, we're going to deal with it as it comes. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. I appreciate your suggestions down below if you think you have an idea of what the problem is. I really think it's a relay somewhere that's uh, that's not working. But with the Camaro, we've checked online so many different places and sometimes it's just hard to tell what is what exactly. This car is technically 10 years old. It was It's a 2010 Camaro. Here we are in 2020. So <laughs> we're trying to diagnose it even though it's not super old, but we'll figure it out. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying the content. I do try to post twice a week, so there's always something cool for you to watch. So thank you guys again. I hope to have some good news for you next time, but I will see y'all next time. Take care.